Good evening. Tonight we're going to start with Lesson 8 in our measurement unit. I can solve problems involving mixed units of weight. So last time we watched one on length, and now we're going to be doing weight, which is those pounds and ounces. 21 pounds, 8 ounces, plus 6 pounds and 9 ounces. So now they want us to add these uh, up, these measurements, and then being able to split them up into mixed units. So how many pounds and how many ounces does all of this uh, equal? And so, which is great, we can actually just, because we're dealing with addition, we could just match up the ones. We can add 21 pounds plus six pounds, and we're gonna get 27 pounds. And then on the other end here, we get eight ounces, and we can match that up with the nine ounces to get 17 ounces. All right, so now um, in order for this to work, we wanna make sure that everything is the way it should be, meaning like, you know, that we don't have anything extra over and we wanna pull out those ounces so we can make pounds. Um, so let's make this right here. I'm gonna make a number bond. Um, and we also need to remember our conversion. So we know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So let's pull out that 16 ounces, which is really one pound, and we're left with one ounce. And we can take this one pound and bring it over to 27 pounds, which would then give us 28 pounds. How much is left over? Well, we've got that one over here, one ounce. Okay, the next one is 89 pounds, two ounces, take away 16 pounds and four ounces. Now, subtraction, like we've learned, gets a little uh, tricky because it's not like addition where we can just add up all the like numbers and units. We wanna subtract four ounces, we can't because it's two ounces on top. Our pounds work, but not our ounces. So we're gonna have to have some conversions here. Um, but you know what, guys? We'll show you something a little bit different than what we've been doing, which we're gonna take down here. I'm just gonna bring down 89 pounds, and I'm gonna bring down two ounces. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna pull out a pound. I'm gonna pull out a pound from here, and I'm gonna give it to my ounces side. If I pull out a pound, we're gonna have 88 pounds. And we know from our conversions that um, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So if I give that extra pound that I took from here and I give it over to my ounces, I'm gonna give them 16 ounces on this side. But I can't forget my other two ounces that I have here. So when I add that up, I get 18 ounces. So now I have 88 pounds and 18 ounces, but I'm not done because I just did this side. Now I actually have to subtract it with 16 pounds and four ounces, which I now can do because I can subtract 18 ounces and four ounces. So 88 pounds take away 16 pounds is 72 pounds and 18 take away four is 14 ounces. So 89 pounds, two ounces, take away 16 pounds and four ounces. We got 72 pounds and 14 ounces. Pretty cool, huh? Just by doing this simple thing, by just taking that pound and sharing it with the ounces, we got our answer a lot quicker. Next one. When David took his dog, Rocky, to the vet in December, Rocky weighed 29 pounds, nine ounces. When he took Rocky back to the vet in March, Rocky weighed 34 pounds, four ounces. How much weight did Rocky gain? I used to have a dog named Rocky. He was all black. Oh, he was so loving and so cute. Um, okay, so what we want to do is maybe a tape diagram would help. So I want to set up my first tape diagram. And the first one is, first one is 29 ounces. No, excuse me. 21 pounds, 29 pounds and nine ounces. And then we have another one, which is gonna re represent when we took Rocky uh, to the vet in March and he weighed there 
34 pounds and four ounces. So we need to know what happened here. What happened there? We don't know how much weight he gained from December all the way to March. And just to find out this missing piece over here, we're going to have to subtract. So we have 34 pounds, 4 ounces, take away 29 pounds, and 9 ounces. All right, in order for this to work, remember, with subtraction, it gets a little difficult because we can't pair up the matches here. We can't pair up pounds. The pounds would work, but the ounces won't. So we have to pull out a pound here and share it with the ounces side like we did before. So if I pull out a pound, if I pull out a pound from 34 pounds, I'm left with 33 pounds. But I got to share that extra pound with the ounces side. And remember, with our conversion, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. And I'm going to share those 16 ounces to the four ounces. And when we do that, we are left with 20 ounces. All right, so now we can subtract and we can do everything now. We can bring down our 29 pounds and our nine ounces. And now we're able to subtract. So we're going to set it up by when we take away our 33 pounds and 29 pounds we're going to get four pounds and 20 ounces take away nine ounces i'm going to get 11 ounces so how much he gained from december to march our friend rocky is four pounds and 11 ounces all right, our last example tonight with weight. Bianca had six identical jars of bubble bath. She put them all in a bag that weighed two ounces. The total weight of the bag filled with six jars was one pound and four ounces. How much did each jar weigh? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have six. He had, she had six identical jars. And she put them all in a bag, and the bag weighed two ounces. Oops, that's sloppy. The bag weighed two ounces. But the total weight of the bag filled with all the six jars was one pound and four ounces. And the thing is, is we have to figure out is how much did each jar weigh. So what we should do is we're gonna should, maybe we can draw some pictures here. So I'm going to draw some sad-looking cans all right, so we have six cans here. Okay, and remember the bag. All right, well, and here's my little bag. Sorry, not great, but the bag was definitely two ounces. That's how much the bag weighed. And we know that all of the cans and the bag t all equaled a total of all of this bag and the cans all equaled one pound and four ounces so now but the thing is now they want to know what each one of these weighed all right again we have to remember that there are that there is one in one pound there is 16 ounces so what we want to do is we kind of want to just pull out um, those, those, those pounds and convert them into ounces. But first, remember, they don't want to know anything about the weight of the bag. We already know about the weight of the bag. So we have to get rid of those two ounces. So I'm going to take away two ounces from the four ounce because we can't include that in this. So if we do that, we now have one pound and two ounces. Okay, so now let's get this all into ounces. So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. And we have to add the two extra left over, which gives us 18 ounces. Now, that very important word up here, each, when we talk about, when we're giving us a total, we know the total was one pound, four ounces. 
and they hear the word each, we know that we're going to be dividing. And how many cans do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be dividing by six. Our total is 18 divided by six. Six goes into 18 three times. So each one of those cans is equal to three ounces. This is cute. And this is what we call a meme. I know some of you guys like those. Start your day with a positive attitude and don't let anyone take it from you. Now, that is so true. The positive attitude, guys, is the way that we, the best way that we can learn is having that great attitude every day. Take that positive attitude and let's see how you can do on the next few problems. Nine ounces, excuse me, seven ounces plus nine ounces equals how many pounds? One pound, take away 13 ounces, is equal to how many ounces? Three pounds, nine ounces plus nine ounces gives us a mixed measurement of how many pounds and how many ounces. Oh, isn't he cute? Giving you a big smile. And a positive attitude gives you what this little boy is giving you. The biggest smile and happy. So, guys, good job. You should all be happy, giving it your best effort and those shining positive attitudes. Have a wonderful night, guys.